Hi all, my name is Jessica Hood Morris. I'm the owner of Hood School of Acting and today two of my advanced students are going to demonstrate a relationship in the Meisner technique. So, as you all know, the goal here is that they are doing a door and activity, but now they have a relationship. So they are someone, something to someone, right? So they're either lovers. They're lovers and they haven't seen each other in a year because their lover has been away. Um, they're boss employee. Now, the goal with a relationship is that their behavior um, would be very clear to us as an audience, so we should be able to tell who they are and what's going on. Are they lovers and they haven't seen each other in, in let's say, two months and they're excited to see each other or are they lovers and they haven't seen each other in two months and one of them has been seeing someone else um, what is going on the behavior would be different with each of those scenarios right so we need to see that behavior once we have the behavior as an actor then we can go ahead and throw the dialogue on top of it we never want to jump into dialogue until we have an understanding of how we feel about our partner who they are to us and emotionally how we feel about them okay so I'm gonna actually have my two students it's Zamani and Taylor they're gonna go ahead and do a relationship the goal would be for you guys out here watching to try to figure out as they're starting and as they're kind of working off each other, who are they to each other? How do they feel about each other? And by the end, we should all have an idea of, are they um, distant? Are they coworkers and they don't know each other well? Are they siblings? Are they best friends? We should tell by their behavior and how they feel about each other. Okay, I'm going to have them get to it and I'll be back. All right, Zamani and Taylor, whenever you're ready. Seriously? You're upset. I'm upset. Taylor? You're shocked right now. I'm shocked. You're shocked right I'm now. Shocked. I'm Taylor. I'm shocked. Wow. You're ridiculous. Taylor. Zamani. You're, you're upset? upset. Yes. You're, you're making upset? me upset. Yes. You're making me yes. upset. Yes. You're so frustrated. I'm frustrating. I'm frustrating. You're, you're walking. You're gonna. Walk. I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Yes. That's ridiculous and rude. Don't even look at me like that. You're shaking. I'm angry. I'm angry. I hate you. Right? You hate, I get, hate out. You. I get hate out. You. Get out, get out. You're frustrated. I'm frustrating. You're frustrating. Me. So bad. Get ah. out. Get out. Get out. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, okay, I'm sorry. I'm upset and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Taylor, I'm so bad. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna stop it right here and I'm feeling a little emotional. <laughs> um, this was really good. So they had a relationship. I knew what it was before they started and I never expected it to end this way, which I think is just phenomenal. 
I think a lot of times when we go into a relationship, we go in, you know, in acting, we go into a scene, we always, we, we tend to preconceive this is the way it should go. And we don't leave any opportunity for anything, you know, to change and for this person to change us. And in life, things happen that we don't expect. We may go into a fight and we may, you know, think, you know, I'm done with this person. I am over it. I am, I'm going to tell them off and I'm done. But then there's a live person in front of us and they feel and they and they we feel with them and we care about them and we are changed. And that's what happened here. And it was just amazing to watch. Um, so what the circumstance was, was Taylor and I'm assuming you guys all knew that they were close. So they were either siblings or best friends. And you could tell by their behavior that they definitely were. Taylor and Zamani are siblings. Um, Taylor has been married for a year, but been dating her husband for five years. So married one year together, five years. Zamani, um, I don't want to say has been bamboozled by him, but kind of. So Zamani has been having an affair with Taylor's husband. Zamani had a boyfriend. Taylor's husband convinced Zamani to break up with her boyfriend, that he is in love with her and that he's going to break up with Taylor. Zamani has been trying to figure out how to tell Taylor, but that's basically how it is. Um, but what Taylor just found out is that Zamani's having an affair with her husband and her husband never had any intentions of leaving Taylor. Um, now, what I think is phenomenal about this is they both had a very strong point of view coming in, right? Zamani was very happy because she probably got the news maybe that uh, her, her new boyfriend is leaving <laughs> um, her sister and she's maybe excited like, okay, this is a new life, um, this is happening, now I gotta figure out how to tell her but all I know is I'm excited, right? She was very excited when she came in. Taylor came, in, came over with a very strong point of view. She was disgusted, she was uh, hateful, she she was angry. She felt a lot of anger towards her, right? What happened? They worked off each other. They screamed. They connected. And Taylor changed from, because of Zamani, Zamani, due to the belief in the imaginary circumstance, Zamani started feeling guilty, bad, angry at herself, started genuinely crying, feeling towards the circumstance. And that changed Taylor in such a freaking awesome way that Taylor didn't hold on to, but she's cheating, but she's cheating. She looked at, this is my sister and she's hurting right now. I'm going to put myself aside. I'm her older sister. Let me be with her and then figure my crap out later. Let, let, me just, let me just be here. She needs me. Even though she screwed me over huge, yes. And you can tell when Taylor hugged her, she hugged her and she felt with her. And then there was something in her that was like, oh, why am I hugging her? This, this feels yucky. But then she looked back at Zamani. She sort of backed off. She looked back at her. Um, and, and I would rewind this and watch this again because this is really important to keep in mind. Um, she looked back at her and saw that Zamani really was hurting and that she was sorry. And Taylor did what? And she had in her eyes, I'm hurting too, but I love you. And I thought that was so beautiful because that's something that if we're in our head thinking, we'd be like, but, you know, she did screw me over, da 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 It doesn't happen like that in real life. In real life, we, we, yes, we get frustrated, we get angry, but there's a person in front of us, and we do have feelings for them, and we do love them, and we put things aside because they are here, and they're feeling with us, and we need to feel with them, and I thought that was beautiful. Now, what we want to do, once we have this, so in class, I'll have them do several activities indoors, so that way, we don't preconceive how the scene should go. We don't have a set way of this is the way it should be. We are open to different possibilities in the scene. I'll have them do another door and activity. And maybe the next one, they're just screaming at each other the whole time. Who knows? Maybe the next one, um, Taylor is crying. From there, once we, we've lived this scenario out so much, then we'll jump into the dialogue. So what I'll do is I'll have them do a door and activity and I'll say, okay, whenever I feel like they're feeling something, which this exercise they were feeling the entire time, um, I'll say, okay, now go into the dialogue and we'll ride the dialogue right on top of this, this natural emotion, this organic emotion. And then from there, we start blocking out the scene. Um, but phenomenal job, both of you two. Very, very good. And thanks for watching. We'll have another relationship soon and we'll get into more scenes. Um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.